Hey, how y'all doing? It's Sharonda, and hey, how y'all doing? So, today, a little bit different, um, <laughs> far as, you know, where I'm recording at. I just wanted to do a quick update on what I'm reading. Um, it's just been a crazy week, um, since I put up, like, a, a full-length video. Not even a crazy week. It's just been crazy time, and then it's like, I'm, I'm, I know for sure that I'm sick, um, I don't know what, what, it's just all stuffy and my throat is hurting. So I'm going to urgent care today, but there is something going on out in the world, y'all. So just be careful because it is, it's a lot going on. All right. So, and, and I, I, I just, I hate being sick and I hate not being able to breathe. <sighs> I'm like the worst sick person ever. And my oldest kid is like, you need to go to the doctor. I don't want to go to the doctor. He's going to force me to go today. And it's just too much. But hey, <laughs> how y'all doing? And this is my quick update for the books that I'm currently reading. And well, right now I'm doing like a whole series, y'all. And I am so mad that I did not catch this series earlier, but it's always shout to my good bookish friends, especially Shays and Pages. And um, her name is Latasha, but she's under the name book, uh, Big Butt in the Book. They're mostly on Instagram. So you should definitely go uh, follow them and check them out. Always got great um, book recommendations, but um, they came in contact with an author named Scarlett St. Clair, and I am currently reading her Hades and Persephone uh, saga series. And let me tell y'all, when I tell y'all I am so mad that I did not get my hands on this series earlier, I, I'm just... And I like, what I like so much was she did not just, you know, not just like the characters themselves, but what I like so much what she did with this series is she gives us uh, both POVs. Like, what's in the series is seven books, which technically could be four. But what she does is she gives us books from both Hades and Persephone's point of view, which I really, really dig. Um, <laughs> like, when I first started, I did not know that. I probably should have did a little bit more research, but I didn't. And that's on me. But... Um, I love the fact that she did that, but I am like, as I'm reading the series, I am realizing that I love the books from Hades POV better because Persephone, I like Persephone in this series, but she is a lot. Um, and she's, she comes off like, you know, uh, selfish, um, and you know, just not at times taking other people's uh, emotions and feelings into consideration. And that irks me. You know what I'm saying? And she's young, you know, 24. And it's just like, she's being a 24 year old. And like, it's just crazy. But there's a reason why Persephone acts the way she acts. And I understand that from a reader's p uh, point of view. Um, but it does not make her less uh, annoying. So I have to read her books. I have to read these books from Hades POV because he's like an older god. Um, and, you know, he's been, you know, like, you know, I, I guess you want to say like, well, in my way out in the world more. Um, you know, he's a little bit more... Um, he's just a little bit more easier to deal with, um, you know, or... And also getting um, Persephone's story from his POV better is just better to like her <laughs> when I'm reading the books from Hades POV. Uh, POV. Oh my God, I can't talk. POV, point of view. I'm just going to say point of view because why am I doing all these acronyms? But anyway, so, um, so right now, um, I'm on book six, uh, and this is A Game of Gods. Um, this book is from Hades' point of view, and, um, it also, in this book also has multiple, uh, point of views. You just don't get, um, Hades' point of view. You also get, uh, one of the other characters, uh, Diodos. He's another Greek, uh, god, or, yeah, he's another Greek god, but, uh, you also 
am getting his um pov uh point of view inside of this book too and like this book kind of like segs way into book seven and book seven you're getting um multiple POVs. You're getting Persephone's, Hades, and you're getting some Adiados, uh, uh, if I'm saying that correctly. I don't know. But you're also, I, and if I'm looking forward, y'all, that's because there's a golf course in front of me, and I like watching these people play. It's like generally what I do on my quick lunch break. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here in my car eating, and I'm watching people play golf. Um, but uh, in book seven, <clears throat> excuse me, in book seven, you're getting multiple, you're getting like multiple uh, point of views. Like I said, you're getting Hades, Persephone's, and you're also, also getting some of uh, uh, Diodos' uh, point of view as well, which I really, really enjoy. And like the seventh book is like the final book in the series. But books um, two, four, and six, if you're so interested or if you're not, you know, they are if you're so interested in checking out the series those books are from hades point of view the other books the other odd number books are from persephone's um point of view but i love the series because she just give us like these really well-rounded um you know very complex characters and even though persephone is a lot to deal with you like i said earlier you understand her trauma because within this series demeter was who is persephone's um uh, mom um yeah she 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 was just not a good person to persephone um she hid persephone you know she didn't want the other guys to know that persephone um you know basically existed but you know and she did that under the guise of you know i'm protecting you so when she allows persephone um out into the human world because Persephone is also like within the in the beginning of the book she's pretending to be mortal but she's not mortal and she, and because and I feel like Persephone was the way she was is because she really never had any interactions with anybody so when she came across cross friends that he, she could trust when she started getting into this relationship you know this romance with Hades Everything she saw as when people were, even when people were just trying to help her, trying to give her a good word of advice, you know, she always took it as, you're trying to tell me what to do. I'm sick of telling, you know, I'm sick of people telling me what to do. You're trying to control me, you know, you want to hold, like, and then Persephone, when, and, and within the series, Hades, he does these deals with mortals you know mortals come to him for something can you help me with this but he's always like you know i'll help you but what i'm getting in return girl okay what am i getting in return my guy you know what i'm saying so when he made he made a deal with persephone um and if persephone didn't come through didn't you know come through on the deal she would have to go down to the underworld and you know stay down there with him forever so she saw that as a way of sorry i'll be distracted with all this golf stuff uh you know she saw that as a way as you just trying to control me you're just trying to trap me you know all these other things so i i i like i said i understood exactly where she was because nobody wants to go from one gilded cage to another one who wants that shit right but it's like Hades truly was trying to get her to understand some things and she, you know, she just wasn't. Yeah. So, like I said, it did not make her less annoying, but I understood where the lady was coming from. Um, so this is the, and I'm only showing y'all the covers because this is like just a quick update while I'm at work and child. I don't have time to be flopping covers up in here, but um, this is the cover for the last and the final book, which is A Touch of Chaos. And like I said, you're, you're getting a wrap up of the story and you know what is going on you know, with all these gods and goddesses and stuff like that. Like the book, the series is really, really good. And I love a Hades. I love a good Hades in Persephone retelling because, you know, what's in the whole Greek mythology and all of these Greek story retell retellings, Hades is always like the bad guy. Nobody likes him. He's like evil. You know what I'm saying? Where he has, they make Zeus like this great guy. 
and you know we starting to understand understand that zeus want shit you know not only could he not keep his penis in his pants he just was not a good god you know what i'm saying so i love these whole <clears throat> Persephone and Hades retellings because it just gives her just like a better understanding of Hades and it makes you more sympathetic towards his uh you know him you know as a god within you know the whole Greek uh mythology uh you know stories or whatever and I just love it because they just make him just more likable because Zeus ain't shit um <laughs> And also what I'm reading is I started, uh, this was a book that I had inside of my, um, I think it was like an August, child, it was like an August uh, wrap up or something like that. I don't know. But I'm also, oh, it was my Kindle TBR, what I, what I have on my Kindle TBR. So um, what I'm also reading is Witch Trice um as well i'm reading this as well and this is starting off really really good i i listen I, I i have been in my paranormal bag and i just i, I i've been picking some good ones so i'm really really like <laughs> you know like good for you good for you but um yeah that is it for me which trice is, is is starting off good we have it is also a sapphic romance um I'll link my, uh, you know, I'll put the d the video in the details below for my Kindle TBR that I give you guys like a, a, a little bit more. It's just me reading a blurb, but you know what the book is about, but it's a sapphic romance and it's going to be a romance between a witch and a vampire, which is my kind of jam. Okay. Witches in um, werewolves or shifters is my kind of jam too, but yeah, so yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. You know, I'm sick, but I'm reading. I try to have a, a, a fuller, another fuller video up um, soon, you know, depending on how I feel, you know, when I go to this damn doctor, what they tell me. <laughs> but yeah, so until the next one, y'all, later days. Bye.